Very nice, Tom. Hmm. Although I must say, I thought your office would be bigger than this. It will be. Michael, you sit, Arthur, he's done by the window. So, who are we meeting? The man we're about to meet is the Minister for the Duchy of Lancaster. He is also Deputy to the Chancellor of the Exchequer and Cabinet Advisor to the Prime Minister of Great Britain. You both met bad men before. The man we're about to meet is the devil. Yep, send him in. seem to get to meet you without your family. I understand you know a man called Jimmy McCavan. May I take a cigarette? Please. as Jimmy McKevin. Over the last 12 months, uh, you've been making approaches to various men across the country who you think might be able to help you in your cause. McKevin is one of these men. He runs the East Glasgow shipyards. He killed an associate of mine. I want to know what your strategy is. That one's your brother, yes? Yes. And I'm his business advisor. We would like to talk business. Michael. Michael Gray. You lost all your cousin's money in America playing the fool. A nightclub in Detroit called the Gladiator is your regular? You lost the money and found a wife there. And poor old Arthur Shelby, standing there at the window, is afraid his wife will never return. My spies tell me she's been seen with another man. Arthur. Arthur. Esquise Churisil, well. And bingo. 20 seconds in and I have them speaking their wog lingo. <sighs> Mr. Shelby, I do have plans. I will have need of men like you. Except, of course, there is no other man like you. You, in particular, I need. But please, don't imagine I would trouble myself with turf wars. You have many enemies. Shuffle the pack and pick another card. That investigation of the dead journalist, the queer, I've made that go away. Read it and uh, come back to me. Next time, bring only an open mind and a cigar to celebrate our 